hi guys my name is colette welcome back to my channel why does this look like this thing is askew fighting with my phone for a minute because i do use my phone to film because i think it's the best camera i own right now <laughs> it is the best camera i own right now okay but somehow i don't know what's up anyway if you can see the background back there, then you see my big bed is gone. Yes, I got rid of it. Not completely. Even though I do love the sucker, I loved the big bed head behind me because I could sit and put my back to it. However, I was experiencing other um, little body aches and so on because I think the platform beneath it wasn't so um, as supportive as I needed it to be. Anyway. Not only that, but it was just overpowering my room. It was just like, hey. <sighs> so I put it in a bigger room, which is my daughter's bedroom. And she has her bed on it now. So she's loving on my bed. Loving up my bed frame. But yeah. Anyway, that's not what the video is about. Um, my girls are sleeping right there. They're nice and quiet. <sighs> that being said. On my lips is this MAC Vamplify Gloss. Don't ask me what a name because I can't see that even with my glasses on. So I'm not even gonna try. But if you have this in your collection and you remember it, then you know what it is. You can haul it out and start to use it because I'm one that's advocating pulling out your crap and using it. So yeah, that part. So that's back in the drawer. Um, what I wanna talk about Per the title of the video, holding aces. <laughs> so this look was done completely using the holding aces palette. Because you know this is a makeup channel, right? It's not a foot channel. It's not a about my life channel. It's not any of that. It's basically for my makeup hobby, which I don't, yeah, don't make no apologies for. Anyway, <clears throat> it is such a pretty palette. It is a bit blinding though. <laughs> All this psychedelic thingy and shininess going on. Look at that. You can you can actually put this up to hold it to the sun and let the sunlight beam off of it and kind of send a signal if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just being bad. Five o'clock beauty. Nisi, you did that, girl. You did it. Um, the sleeve does contain the ingredients information, but I don't need to keep the sleeve. See, I have the sleeve on the old one. I don't need to keep the sleeve. Um, so it's not a big thing for me here or there. However, it does come with a mirror. But these colors, I did a swatch video you guys seem to like the swatch video. Some of you said, even though you follow Nisi, you didn't realize that she actually has a makeup thing going on. Yes, go support the girl. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how I feel about this International Women's Day BS because it is my belief, just as with Valentine's Day and all these other days where you pick, you humans pick a one specific day to show love and or appreciation, it is my belief and how I live my life that it should be shown on a consistent and daily basis. If you care and you appreciate love and love someone, you will do accordingly. You don't need a specific day to post and, and tell women that um, you support them and all this. Show it in the things that you do daily. Recognize what they are doing daily. And let that, you roll with that, you lead with that, okay? So anyway, the only thing I wanna say about this palette is I noticed a little bit of skipping with the purple shadow. I know purples are hard to make, but it also could be a bit of user error involved there because I was trying to be a little bit complicated with the eye look. I was trying to do something bolder and a little bit more, you know. <sighs> yeah, even though you guys know I'm mostly a neutral girl, but 
I like to play with some color. The best way I play with color though is on my waterline as you're seeing the blue liner in there. I love different shades of blues and greens, but I like yellow on my eyelid. I like oranges. I like greens. I like blues. And I will buy an eyeshadow if it's blue or green straight up. Purple comes in after. <laughs> but the purple shadow, what I found when I tried to make it, mix it with Prosperous, I had a bit of a situation going on. So this one was taking over this one and just completely getting rid of it from where I, I from what I was doing and how I wanted them to play together it wasn't happening so I decided to go in with a different purple and that worked out I added it to to this one in the palette and then it came out but not exactly what I had in mind but better so <sighs> Have I any problems with the palette? No. Um, Sitting Pretty is a very nice shade. It's a very pretty neutral shade. It looks a bit peachy coral, peachy or coral in the pan right here. Um, that's how it comes off. But I think based on your skin tone, there is a shift to, you can see that shift that's going on. There is a bit of a shift, like a, a kind of a golden something i don't know what that is underneath it but it is quite beautiful and i think because of that it lends itself to a multitude of skin tones and shades and undertones when being used so that is like one of the most amazing colors in the palette um the other one i really like is winning just that one it looks white but never fear it is so cool so you see what happens i have it on the inner corner right here so you see the difference you can have it to look like that you can put it on the inner corner as a, a pop of color just like a pop like a brightening on the inner aspect of the eye right there really works nicely for that i i have tried it for that it really looks pretty so depending on your skin tone and what flush your boat and how you use it it also is a nice um all over the lid eyeshadow really really like it the only thing i can say i don't like in the palette is this purple <laughs> why because it's a glitter i'm not a fan of glitter i'm not a glitter girl i try to play with glitter but i always mess up and a lot of times it gets into my eye and all of that so i'm very very weary these days of putting glitter near my eyes or around my eyes believe me i've tried and there are very very few that i like so i have not messed with it i don't intend to mess with it anytime soon because i'm just afraid of getting glitter in my eyes so i'm you know but for those of you who love glitter i can see you just popping this not only on top of this purple but on other shades in the palette it would even work pretty on winning trust me you can't you can't help it if you're a glitter girl you love glitter you will love that but for me not so much um another color i like in here sunny side i'm wearing sunny side today and omg when i dipped into this thing and put it on the eyeballs not my eyeball, but my eyelid, my mobile lid. Oy, 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 oy. It's just pretty. I can't say more. The only thing I haven't used yet from the palette are the green ones. These two green ones, I haven't touched those as yet. Um, I've used this one underneath the eye. Love it as well haven't used it as a, a lid color yet but i'm thinking it'll be beautiful just the same because they really these satin ones they really lay on the lid very very well and don't believe me i have tried the palette with where is it i have tried the palette with my urban decay primer potion it works it's good but if you want something to look like this that I have going on, use this bad boy. Oh, this, while it's a bit drier, 
than your normal, your typical eyeshadow primer. It is tacky and it just grabs the hold of the shadow and it keeps it there and I love it. This. I never thought I would be loving this so much. I tried, I bought it to try it and I'm just absolutely loving it. So guess what? Go get you some. I hope you like it. Thank me later. Use it correctly. Tap it in with your finger. You can use a brush. Excuse me. I have used a synthetic brush, but you might not want to. If you are a little more mature, like I am, then you would want to not drag so much on your eyes, but just take a finger and dab it in. You're good to go. Blends perfectly. Very nice. Shadows pop. You don't need any more than anything more than that. Love this underneath the brow bone, and I'm so tempted to try it on my lid for those um, no makeup days. Like you're feeling really low key and you want to just be chill. I'm gonna use that on my lid. So all in all, I really like the palette. I do. I like the quality. I have not had any bad interactions. I haven't had any eye interactions. I haven't had any problems using the palette. Um, Nisi was so, so professional and so kind to send me a replacement. I know I bought the palette. She didn't send it to me for free. I did purchase the palette, but the first one came. If you saw my previous video, the mirror was cracked in both places. And I had a notion to try to cover the shadow and rip out the, the glass. But then I said to myself, probably cause more splinters to come up or something. Anyway, she offered to send me a replacement. I said I would appreciate it because I really kind of want to keep the palette intact because even though if I had pulled out the thing from this one, man, <laughs> it would still bother me because I'm just that kind of a person. So anyway, um, I'm glad that she offered to replace the palette for me and she did and she bubble wrapped the daylight out of it and put it even in a bigger box instead of an envelope. And this bad boy came and it was just beautiful. So I am thankful for her customer service skills and how she handled the situation. So thankful. Um, the other one with the broken mirror is still with me. It's here. Um, I have this young lady that uh, I pass on makeup to and she saw it. I showed it to her, told her, what happened and I have two and she said I'll take it with a broken mirror I'll take it so of course you know I will compel her to support my girl because you got other things so I will pass this on to her so she can take and play with it because she does she's not on YouTube she's not a social person like that but in our in her circle in our circle she knows other people who like makeup and stuff and i know she'll t speak good of this actually years ago bought her a palette i t totally forgot about took her to england she used to babysit for me and i bought her a palette right let her choose her colors and i gave her an 88 shadow palette as well sometime long after i done forgot about everything the girl had pictures and she told me she says, i was waiting to see you because she moved away um further from where i am now and so i still call her and set up time for her to come get makeup from me and she showed me what she did with that palette she used up every single shade that was in the palette i hate you hear me she made me feel bad i was like girl i ain't never used a palette like that she says and remember you when you bought me from england i'm like huh she said, you bought me something i'm like me she said, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You took me to the mall and you bought me a palette. I'm like, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> she used every single thing. She more than hit pan on them things, okay? So she made me feel bad and look bad with all this makeup I own. She was, she killed that palette, girl. And she's always super, super excited when I give her stuff. Man, she just goes nuts when I give her stuff. Very appreciative. And she uses the products. So I have no problem passing on the broke, one with the broken mirror to her. So she can get some, show it some love. Because I am not going to just throw it out when somebody can use it. And give my girl some more exposure to the brand. Like, hello, who are you? Thank you very much. All right. And she's a younger girl. She's a younger woman. And she's not afraid of a broken mirror, okay? <laughs> so yeah 
anyway end of story end of official review i do like the palette a lot don't care for the glitter let's cover the glitter i'm going to pretend it's a blue eyeshadow <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> she did promise that there would be a blue eyeshadow in the next palette so i can't wait <sighs> anyway i need to um just let you guys know i really like this i just like that the palette is an all-rounder and you have a little bit of everything there you can actually just throw this in your bag go with it on vacation or wherever the heck you're going and create multiple looks and be content you can have a low-key daytime wear if you're going out maybe an interview or job situation or you can wear it dressed up you're having a night out it's cocktail this it's it's that good okay the quality is good, blends really nicely, shades are buildable. Um, what else? Daytime looks, nighttime looks, glam looks, low-key looks, the everyday woman look, the business professional look is here. It's here. It's here. It's, it's here. I appreciate what she did and... I am supportive of what she's doing. So again, Nisi, congratulations. You've done great. And I'm looking forward to seeing your next productions. And I wish you much success with your future endeavors in makeup land. All right. This is not my passion except using it. So you know me making no makeup anytime soon. But I love you for doing this. <laughs> so as you know... I'm a real estate agent. Yay. So support the girls, support the girls, support the business women. Yay. All right. Take care, you guys. Enough love. And um, five o'clock beauty will be watching for you. All right. Take care. Enough love. Bye-bye.